Hey guys, this is Patrick Lee from Slush Films, and today we're bringing you another tutorial on the Java programming language. So this is where we left off before, and if you haven't watched my uh, first video or any of my videos, uh, click on the top left of the screen to go to my first tutorial. So let's get started. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to create a variable inside of Java. Um, before we get into that, you first need to know what a variable is. So a variable if you guys paid attention math class um, a variable is something that holds a particular number usually math but it can also hold any type of data um, for example x equals 10 and the question is y equals x plus 7 what is y y is equal to 17 so that's basically a variable a variable is something that holds certain uh, uh, and type of anything. So, um, we're going to be first start out. We're going to delete this system dot out dot print line, and we're going to be creating a variable. Now, in Java, uh, it's a bit different than math. Um, in Java, there are different kind of data types, um, and uh, we're going to be looking at three today. And the first is a string. Now, a string is anything uh, that any is a data type that holds um, any number of Unicode characters so um, um, Unicode characters are basically <coughs> letters so any number of letters so um, to create a variable we're gonna type in string with a capital S and we're gonna put uh, the variable name so we're gonna call this <coughs> Word, and we're gonna set it equal to. Um, we're gonna set it equal to. Hello, or er, hey, this is my first variable. Okay, and notice that I put quotations in here, and that's because this is um for strings. You have to always put double quotations. Um, yeah. So always put double quotations and then end off with a semicolon, as you guys already know. And then this is just um, stating what word is equal to. It's not actually um, putting it on the screen. So if we press play here, there's nothing here because we haven't um, actually put it on the screen. We haven't told the computer to print it on the screen. So you guys know this, system.out.print ln round brackets quotation sorry sorry okay for variables you don't put quotations because quotations hold unicode characters um for variables though we're just gonna put in word because it's not um it's not text it's a variable which holds text so we're gonna end it off with a semicolon save it up press play and as you can see hello or hey, this is my first variable. So, um, just a review. Uh, we first named our um, document, and then we put the main method here, and then we created its variable with the string data type, and we called it word, and then we set equal to hey, this is my first variable, and then we printed out word on the screen. So now we're going to be looking out at the second variable second type of data type and this is the int actually let's go to the char char variable so char stands for character and this is uh, one single unicode character so this is a letter one letter so we're going to call it word2 since I'm not creative at all and uh, we're going to set equal to um, and for characters we're, uh, you only need to put one single quotation and we're gonna put T inside of here because T is a one single Unicode character we're gonna end it off with a semicolon and then we're gonna put uh, we're gonna print it on the screen sorry 
Uh, we're going to put in Word 2. Save that. Press play. And as you can see, T is right here after, hey, this is my first variable. Now, um, oh yeah, if you guys don't know how I'm saving it so fast, uh, the hotkey is um, Command S right here. So just type, just press Command S every time you want to save it. It's really fast. For the um, third type of data type, it is a number type. So it's called int, and this is for integers. And um, this is any uh, single any any integer between two negative two point one four billion and positive two point one four billion. So we're gonna put number and set it equal to thirteen. Okay. And notice that I didn't put quotations or any kind of quotations inside of here. This is because it is an integer and it's a it's a number. It's a number, so that's why you don't need to put um, quotations in Java. You don't need to put quotations for any numbers. Um, so you declared the integer, and we're gonna type it out on the screen and save it and press play. As you can see, thirteen. Now, what if I want text and an uh, and a variable? Well, this is pretty easy. We're just gonna put um, my age is, and then we're gonna put plus. Uh, plus is my age is, and then plus the number. So it's gonna print out my age is 13. And since I put this space here, it's gonna look like it's a sentence. Okay, so play. As you can see, it's my age is 13. And so <clears throat> these are just uh, one of the basic, uh, one of the three basic um, data types that are two variables. There are many different ones, and you can just search it up in Google, like um, data type of variables in Java. There's gonna be a whole list of them. That was just a quick tutorial on creating variables in Java. Hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. It really helps me out. <clears throat> And I'll see you guys later. Bye.